into the green touch trimmer racks on uh, they're on my trailer so let's try to put these babies on making this world beautiful, one stripe at a time. guys so I'll try to show you here later in the vlog maybe another time but my um, you guys know I have an echo and then I have another still uh, 100 RX I think that's what it's called so now I have two 100s um, that one has no power absolutely no power to the head it barely starts it shuts off it's like real bleh. so I said hey I don't have time I gotta go get a new one so I went with the another 100x they've got ridiculous power um they're super powerful they're pretty light and um i like that so i know a lot of people are going to ask uh, i think my total was 390 hold on let me get the receipt all right so just went and grabbed the receipt it was for 392.38 and um, 392.38 was the total of the still 100 RX, FS 100 RX. And for anybody out there that likes to make dumb comments about, I want you to see who uh, signed that right there. I hate stupid comments. B&B &B Lawn Care, just, uh, just for your information about who buys equipment. All right, so 100RX, I gotta install these green touch. Let me show you. This, these are what uh, go on to the trimmer and hold it on to the green touch trimmer racks on, uh, they're on my trailer, so let's try to put these babies on. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping you guys will have a good view at this. So this is what goes up front. So I can put this here in my pocket, and uh, we need a bigger one. Um, smaller than that one. Dude, that's why I love this tool right here. It's a good little tool. No, it's not a professional thing, but I ain't a professional tool man. Whatever you want to call it, mechanic. 
I'm just a dude, man. I'm just a dude. All right, so let's get this off. It's great to have in your truck, though. You don't have to carry a bunch of stuff. It's all in one piece. But uh, I know I'll find somebody on here that'll hate on it. But, uh, all right, let's get this thing off. Let's see here. Golly, it's cold, dude. It's probably, I think tomorrow at 11 or 12, it's supposed to be 35 degrees out. If that doesn't say winter, I don't know what does. All right, let's get this thing on here and installed. I'm really... So now I only have one piece of equipment that's not still the handhelds, and that is my hedge trimmer. All right, I'm gonna—I I gotta stop being lazy at this this little nut here. I gotta get this off the bolt. All right, so you attach that like this. Is that on? Yeah, does it go on top? I think it goes on top. It doesn't matter. I can move it around. All right. Let's get it. We'll tighten it up like this. Guys, I suck. My hands get really cold in the wintertime. Or just when it gets cold. My hands are the first thing to get really cold and irritate me. So, like, I was wearing gloves mowing yesterday. Today. And, uh... Golly, I hate it. They get real dry and real freaking cold. But let's see here. Let's get this on. And then once I get them on, I will take them over to the uh, the rack and pe place them perfectly on there. And then I'll tighten them from there, and uh, it will be good to go. So, I, I'm going to actually leave this cover on for now. Um, I do take them off. But I want to... I'm just going to see what it's like with the cover on. Alright, maybe. I don't know if I can even put the rack on with the cover on. That's not good. That's a major design flaw. But I guess these racks are not perfectly made for it. So, all right. We've got them tightened up here. Okay, now this is where we're gonna go over here. You're gonna stick this end on this side. I know you guys can't see that, I apologize. So, it looks like because of this, I'm either going to have to move this down, which I will do, since I've already tightened that side. So basically, if you can't see, this is for the shoulder strap, and I don't, I honestly don't think I even got a shoulder strap with this. It doesn't matter, because I ain't going to use it, but that's fine. We're going to move that up here, and uh, we just added another echo to the, uh, the, the I call it the rest in peace wall the wall of trimmers that I have that are dead and gone I think that echo lasted me one year I think I, I, I yeah, yeah not very long man alright well that was Siri alright let's see here bunch of Instagram comments you guys don't want to hear about that let's get this thing on here I know this is gonna be a long unedited video but I'm cold out here man you're gonna have to suffer with me that's pretty cool all right I'm getting on here uh, my tripod stuck hold on just gotta loosen that all right let's come up a little closer here let me show you exactly what I'm doing because I didn't record this. We bolted these things on here one night at 10 o'clock or something. But uh, here we are. So let's get this on here. Just 
gonna freaking loosen or tighten these up and you should be good you might have to do a little bit more perfecting on the uh, positioning so we'll leave that loose but they, they give these long long bolts that you got to put in here oh, man my hands are frozen bro my hands are frozen all right get that loosened up scratchy 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 on here that's probably good for it and uh level like that and basically now once that's that's where i want it to sit pull it out and tighten it up And you're going to want to try not to do that. I don't know if you could see that. Hold on. Make all those scratches. But it's got to be customized somehow, I guess. But there you are. That's how I put that on there. Not perfect. I'll adjust it if I find a problem with it. But that's it, dude. It's cold. I'm going inside. B&B Lawn Care, making this world beautiful, one stripe at a time.